Hello chess enthusiasts, my name is Micha and welcome to my chess realm YouTube channel. So today it's 14th of May, the birthday of William Steinitz, born back in uh, 1836, the first officially recognized world chess champion, the father of the so-called positional uh, chess school, but before that he was a ruthless attacker. Let's take a look at one of uh, his uh, such games, played back uh, in uh, 1862, a romantic era. In those times, if you didn't attack, you didn't play at all, and the public also didn't like you. So in the game, Steinitz had white pieces, and he started with e4, d5, and we have Scandinavian defense. E captures on d5, queen recaptures, knight to c3. Nowadays, the theory suggests queen to a5, but uh, queen to d8 was played in the game. d4, e6, knight to f3. Knight to f6. Normal developing moves followed, of course. Bishop to d3. Bishop to e7. White castles king side. And black does the same. Bishop to e3. b6. Black is preparing the fianchetto of his light square bishop. And now knight jumps on e5. So taking over this important e5 central square. Bishop goes to b7, and now f4, further reinforcing knight on e5. Well, here black could try with uh, knight c6. Let's see, after knight c6, we have double attack on pawn on d4. White would probably remove the bishop to uh, double defend the pawn. But then after this knight on c6 is gone, c5 is the threat undermining the defender of the knight on e5. That, of course, uh, is one of the possibilities. In the game, however, knight from b goes to d7 was played. Queen to e2. Well, black has to be careful if knight captures this unpleasant knight on e5. The f pawn recaptures, driving a knight from c f6 away with uh, both bishops targeting black king. This could be unpleasant. Again, uh, c5 center strike is one of the options, but instead knight goes to d5 was played. And now white captures knight on d5. Black should recapture with bishop, keeping the diagonal open, putting a lot of pressure on it. At least black would have some counterplay, because white is already a bit better, but instead e pawn captures on d5, closing the diagonal. And now white played rook to f3. And this is also uh, proposed by the machine. So white is preparing to unleash the attack on the black king. Let's see, after a random move, h6, let's say, then bishop captures on h7, check. Well, if king goes to h8, then rook to h3, preparing discover, check, and black is done here. If king captures on h7, then rook h3, check. King can only go to g8, then queen h5, mate on h7 or h8 is inevitable f6 doesn't help because uh, knight protects this f7 square well bishop to h4 rook captures and queen captures and of course white queen recaptures black can avoid mate but loses decisive material So in the game, f5 was played, closing this diagonal, and white continues with rook h3, preparing uh, queen h5, uh, again attacking uh, black king. Black wouldn't be able to do much in this case, uh, so g6 was played in the game, preventing this queen to h5. Well, white doesn't waste time and plays g4, preparing to demolish a pawn structure around the black king. Well, black had some defensive moves at his disposal. First, black should capture the knight on e5. And after f pawn uh, captures f4, driving the bishop away to, uh, let's say, d2. Bishop to c8. Well, rook is stuck here uh, later with queen to d7, putting pressure on this g4 pawn. It's not likely that white would uh, be successful with the attack. In the game... Black captures pawn on g4 first, and that was a fatal blunder. White doesn't hesitate and plays rook captures pawn on h7. 
while g6 pawn is now defenseless, so black has to do something about it. If black captures on h7 immediately, uh, then queen to g4, threatening queen to g6. After king retreats to h8, then queen to h7, checkmate. If black tries to defend with uh, knight captures on e5, f pawn recaptures, queen e8, defending pawn on g6, then queen h5, king uh, g7, queen h6, if king f7, uh, then queen g6 is checkmate. So king goes to g8, bishop to g6, threatening mate on h7. Uh, so rook to f7, defending is the only move. And then uh, king h1, preparing rook g1 uh, with deadly discover attack. Yeah, black is a rook up, but there isn't uh, much to be done here. Well, one variation is if black tries to drive the queen away with bishop to f8, then uh, queen h4, queen e7, for example, still trying to trade the queens, uh, then bishop uh, g5, queen, let's say, back to e8, and then uh, bishop to f6, mate on h8 is the threat, and after bishop to g7, queen h7, check, king f8, bishop captures on g7, king uh, e7, bishop uh, to f6, and what can black do? King to f8 is, uh, and queen to h8 is mate. Well, the only other move is uh, king to d7, but then uh, bishop captures on f7. It's mate in maximum uh, 12 moves, but it's obvious that uh, white is winning. Okay, let's go back to our game. In the game, knight uh, captures on e5 was played. Something that should have been played uh, two moves ago, but now it's too late. f pawn recaptures, king captures rook on h7, queen uh, g4. The threat is queen uh, g6 and mate in the next move. Now rook g8 defending pawn on g6, queen to h6 check. Pawn is uh, pinned, so cannot capture. King to g7, queen h6, check. King to f7 is the only move. Queen to h7, check. Well, if king goes to e8, then e6, threatening queen to f7, mate. Rook to f8 doesn't help, then it's bishop to g6, mating the next move. So in the game, king to e6 was played. Queen to h3, check. King can only go back to f7, and this was played in the game. Well, okay, here uh, we have mate in 6, but Steinitz missed to find it. Mate in 6 starts with e6 check. King to e8, queen to h7. Again, queen to f7 is the threat, and we know by now that rook to f8 doesn't help. And after uh, queen to d6, creating an escape square on d8, uh, queen simply captures on g8 check. Bishop to f8 defending, and now bishop to g5. Well, all squares are taken, so uh, queen to f7 is unavoidable mate. And of course, after queen d7, queen uh, g6, queen f7, queen f7, mate in maximum six moves, as I promised. Okay, let's go back to our game. In the game, Rook to f1 was played. Check. King to e8. Queen to e6. Uh, trying to grab the rook. Rook cannot abandon this uh, g6 pawn. After rook f8. Bishop uh, g6. Check. Rook to f7. The only defending move. Uh, bishop captures on f7. King to f8. And bishop to h6 is checkmate. So rook goes to g7. Bishop to g5, uh, bishop is pinned, and black plays queen to d7, trying to trade queens, but naturally white doesn't go for it, bishop captures on g6 was played, rook captures, queen captures, king to d8 is the only move, rook to f8, uh, check, black has decided to play all the way, so queen goes to e8, and queen to e8, check, mate. 
So I hope you like this game. I hope you have learned something from it. If you have any questions, my email is below in the description. Of course, I invite you to visit my Instagram page. That's it for now and see you soon.